Welcome back. A sad and senseless crime out of Afghanistan. Police in Kunduz province say a man strangled his wife to death because she gave birth to a girl, their third daughter, and he wanted a son. The police chief there says the man even got his mother's help, help with doing this. The mother was arrested. For some perspective on this shocking, horrifying story, let's go to Zainab Salbi, founder and CEO of Women for Women International. Thank you so much for joining me. My first question is, is this type of violence against women in Afghanistan common now compared to, say, how bad it was 10 years ago when the Taliban was so dominant? No, the, the violence against women right now is far less than it was during the Taliban's time. It, it, it was very, very bad for women and girls during the Taliban time, and there has been indeed a lot of improvement in women's rights, including laws that protect women from such violence. Now, having said that, Afghanistan is also one of the worst places on earth to be a woman. Um, and there are lots of still traditions and practices that violates women, including these cases and other cases. Um, and the only way we can look about changing it, cultures change. But the only way cultures change is when there is incentive for these changes, when there is leadership advocating for these changes, and when there is deterrent from committing violence and oppression against, against women. And uh, none of these three uh, points exist at the moment in Afghanistan. Okay, so talking about deterrence, leadership, needing changes, who is to blame for these types of attacks besides obviously the people who committed these, this specific crime? Who, who is to blame for an environment where things like this can happen to women and girls? Well, obviously, I mean, ultimately, the, the one responsible is the Afghan government advocating for women and girls' rights as not a, a separate issue from building peace in the country, but as actually a central issue to building peace in the country. Afghanistan cannot have sustainable peace if women and girls are not protected. Now, this could be reflected in different ways. It could be reflected in implementing the laws that were in, indeed introduced in the last 10 years mm -hmm. since the... Uh, intervention of the international community. It's actually also advocated for when there is true respect for including women in the political negotiations at the moment, which they are not included in a respectful way. They usually attend meetings, but they're not participating in the political negotiations in, Af in, in the peace agreements in Afghanistan. And it is actually reflected when there is the president can go out of his way to advocate for women's rights. Unless the government of Afghanistan sees women's rights as a major and crucial crucial point of protecting peace and security in their country, there will be little progress. And frankly, sometimes the international community also doesn't show that respect for the value of Afghan women. And we need to show that respect by both investing more in them, and there has been a lot of investment, but there needs to be more investment, and by fully including them in the negotiating table. So, Otherwise, we cannot have sustainable peace. So not seeing women's rights as a, as a separate issue, but seeing women's rights as human rights. Women are bellwether for the directions of society. Violence often starts with women, and so does progress. And they tell a story of what's going to happen in that country. And so rather than see it as, well, this is just happening to women, or mm -hmm. this is just their values or traditions towards women, we need to see what is happening to women as an indicator to what's happening in that country. The fear in Afghanistan, and among many Afghans, mostly women, but also men, is that as the international community is looking at, as withdrawing, at withdrawing from Afghanistan, what will the status be of of Afghan women? What will happen to them? What will all these accomplishments that happened in the last 10 years in, that include sending more girls to school, having more women in the workforce, having more women represented in the political force, what will happen and will we lose all of these accomplishments because we cannot hold the protection of the status of women in Afghanistan? There is a real and serious fear among Afghan women and these cases and the increasing of these cases are only indicators of that fear uh, that is at the moment in Afghanistan. Zainab, let me ask you a question. How optimistic are you for a little girl born in Afghanistan today? 
I believe in change. Otherwise, I would not be leading a group <laughs> called Women for Women International and, and really investing in women. Um, in my experience, and we have worked with tens of thousands of women in Afghanistan, when you invest in a woman or a girl, you, uh, there is a, a big reward, not only in terms of education, but in terms of income, in terms of impact on the family's health, nutrition, values, all of it. So I actually really believe investing in women and girls are the most as the most effective and efficient investment anyone can do in any country. Absolutely. In Afghanistan, I worry. I worry a lot. Uh, they, women are not included fully at the, peace, at the peace negotiations that are undergoing at the moment with members of the Taliban. Their protections, the protections of women's rights, I don't believe is being respected fully and thus not valued uh, fully as in the middle of these negotiations. And I really, when I go to Afghanistan, I see a lot of women seriously concerned about their future status in the country. And I think it's really incumbent upon us in America and in the international community to constantly look at the values of Afghan women and to protect it. Otherwise, the last 10 years and America's intervention in that would be really a waste if we don't uh, make sure that we are protecting uh, Afghan women for the long term and not only for the, the, the period of our intervention. Your group is Women for Women International. We must value women and girls. Zainab Salvi, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Absolutely. My